When I was coming just now, I met a terrorist. Because everything is quiet here, he didn't know whether the people inside or not, he's trapped up. He asked, are there people inside? Do you want me to tell him the truth or untruth? Huh? You want me to speak the truth or untruth? What kind of people are you? <laughs> so, what is truth? What is untruth? It is not in the words that you speak. It is in the way you hold the life within you. The nature of existence is such that it's all inclusive, you know. You know the, the ten horrible people in this class <laughs> who don't believe in God? But when the sun comes up in the morning, you'll have ten black spots falling on them. Believers have such hopes. <laughs> no, when sun comes up in the morning, it lights up everybody, isn't it? What nonsense you believe in or what nonsense you disbelieve in, it doesn't matter, it just lights up everybody. Whoever opens his eyes, for him there is light to see. Who you are, what you are, what you're thinking, what you're doing, are you this or that, it doesn't discriminate. Whether you are a crawling worm or a big human being, it doesn't discriminate. So the essential nature of life is all inclusive. There is no discrimination. This is the truth. If you sit here like that, absolutely all inclusive, you are in touch with truth. If you have become a prejudiced exclusiveness, this is the untruth. It is not in the words that you speak, it is in the way you are. Truth is not something that you can say or not say. Truth is something either you are in touch with it or you are not in touch with it. It's not your doing. If it's your doing, it must be a lie, isn't it? Hmm? Isn't it so? If it's your doing or my doing, it must be a lie, isn't it? That which is true is always… It is in the lap of truth that we exist. It is not something that we say or do. Either we can be in touch with it or we can be unaware of it, but still it is working. Whether we like it or we don't like it, in the very breath that we take, we are inclusive, isn't it? Yes? Whether we are willing or unwilling, in the very breath that we inhale and exhale, we are all inclusive, isn't it? If you become exclusive, truly exclusive, you will be dead. But even the dead are inclusive, isn't it so? <laughs> the dead will so easily merge with the planet, they are also very inclusive. The alive are supposed to be consciously inclusive, dead are dead, so they are unconscious and they are inclusive. The litmus test for you, whether you are in touch with truth or not, is just this. If there is any kind of suffering in you right now, you are not in touch with truth. If you are in touch with truth, there can be no suffering in you, it's as simple as that. How deep your suffering is shows how far away from truth you are right now. There are many ways to approach this. We have been trying to open up doors in the last few days. 
whatever we have been doing here, I've been repeatedly saying this, this is not a teaching, this is just a method. Now seeing that I'm… my responsibility is limitless is not a teaching, it's just a method. If you see that, if you become aware of that, slowly you become all-inclusive, just the way life is. Like every… Uh, every aspect of life is inclusive, you also become inclusive. If you're accepting what is there right now, absolutely, once again you're inclusive. They're not two different things, just different types of vocabulary, that's all. Essentially, you want to move from exclusiveness to inclusiveness. <laughs>